friends, yet again, it is time for us to to play this game. Who remembers what uh who remembers what happened last time? Was it Vegas last time? It was Vegas. It was yeah. Vegas. Yeah. So as part of your ongoing quest to uh, continue the unification of Ravenel, which is like the the duchy that Kentargo is in, you all have uh you know unified the city you've got your lord mayor and then you have a document that says like i so and so representative of this region agree to like support this lord mayor and your sovereign rule kind of of ravenel so you went out into the woods you messed around there you you know defeated some harmless uh elderly hags that were hanging out there um you know perhaps eating children, really, just a lot of hearsay and uh, fake news. Yeah, alleged child eating. Um, and you sided with uh, the Strix Green there. Matter. Yeah, you sided with the Strix there in that conflict, and uh, you kind of brought the Strix into the modern age, and they signed on. So you're like, one of four, check. And I don't like you, how uh, you said brought them into the modern age. Hold on, now I feel like the bad guy. Yeah, you colonized. <laughs> I mean, Colonization. they're literally just like, living guerrilla warfare in trees and like you know eating berries and you know they have like this very hunter-gatherer type life and then you've like had them sign a legal document saying that like their land is part of your land so i mean take of that what you will uh, don't don't do that to me that was your choice that was baby boy that was your choice (laughs) the angel the fallen angel of kentargo saving lives yet again it's crazy how as soon as the city's saved, they immediately turn to profits. Hmm, socialism. <laughs> <laughs> um, then you went over to, uh, well, you were going to kind of pick your next destination, but you discovered uh, dastardly creatures were hard at work in your beloved city, kidnapping the citizens and sending them off to Vire, where they were sold into slavery. And you were going to have none of that. So rather than, like, chart a boat and get over there, uh, you fucking teleported into the city and disrupted the whole slave network uh, before the next shipment arrived. You went and met with the uh, leader of Vire, and she, you know, is a, a sign of camaraderie between your two cities, uh, kind of ended the slave network for you uh, and signed on the dotted line. So now you have two signatures, and that is where we've left off. So you have kind of two regions left to unify and get to sign this document saying, hey, you know, we're all in this together should uh, the nation of Sheliax like try to attack us. Uh, And that is the kind of plains to the east. And you have the uh, uh, like the trade routes, the shipping routes to the northwest. And you know of the Isconti elves that you helped before, those aquatic elves to the northwest. Um, so they'd probably be a good touchstone. And you haven't really explored the Eastern Plains before, but you know that there is uh, uh, a town there uh, that's kind of like the biggest uh, location known as Cypress Point with a population of like 2,000 people. So those are kind of your two main areas um, <clears throat> that you can decide between. Uh, but yeah, I think we just left off your Envire. Um, so I can pull up some map if you want to, but you do have access to teleport magic, so, you know, you can go wherever you want. Did I miss anything? Does that sound right? That sounds we have so we have the forest, we have fire, uh... Yeah, so you have, like, you can go over here. Do we need, like, sea elves? Do we need the aquatic elves, or do we already here. do it? We need, so it's sea elves or a uh, giant evil temple thing. Uh, so Cypress Point is a city. You have oh. heard that kind of down I will make a square. Can you guys see that or is it hidden? Yeah, because I can of the, it okay. Somewhere yeah. in this area, um, because if you look on the map, further to the east is Nadal. So like you're on the you as part of Cheliax are on the border, it borders Nadal, which is like very grim, dark, vampire, shadowy, evil nation. Right? It's all evil and shadowy. And <laughs> Bunch of torture stuff. Torture. And murder for the murder lord. Murder. Well. Murder. Um, so you border that. 
And, you know, many, many years ago, like 100 years ago or something, when Chelyax was in civil war and it was undecided who was going to, like, come out on top and, you know, there was pillaging and all sorts of stuff, Nadal invaded. It, like, came in probably all the way to that river, if not further. And it was, like, conquering and stuff like that. And then when Chelyax unified with the devils, it promptly pushed them back out. But they, like, burned down cities and, like, built temples and shit like that. So you know somewhere within this square is, like, an old... Nidal temple that was left behind when they were like invading like they built this big old temple this like evil ziggurat and it's still there it's just kind of this ominous thing uh, so you know that that's somewhere over there and that's a rumor that you got if that makes sense not that any of this necessarily makes sense but as much sense as you can make of it. <laughs> but yeah. I vote CLs. Yeah, and you I guys think, are yeah. right here in Vire, so I'll just draw these lines here to indicate where yeah. they are. And there actually is another small island that you can't see off at the end here. Um, I can move these circles in a little bit. <laughs> so where would you guys like to go next? <laughs> Mm, good circles. <laughs> well, uh, we gotta go from tip to tail, so... It is kind of frustrating map design that the circle isn't headed towards the box, you know? If if there was <laughs> heading into the box, maybe into, like, the center of it, you know? Uh -huh, In-out uh -huh, pattern. Uh -huh, yep. <laughs> I like that you're moving the, the line there, Garam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe yeah, what yeah, it is, yeah. Garam, is that this is... This is um, not engorged. This is uh, flaccid, and then engorged mm. would be it would like maybe come around. Oh yeah. my god! It wraps around. It talks so into the A. It like probably just hurt. probably just comes comes like a. Yeah, it's just like a boomerang penis. Yeah, I mean, who, Whoa, knows? who said penis? Who said penis? All right, come on. Say sh <laughs> children watch this. Come on. I hope not. Um, yeah. I also because you've not. got a lot of them in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I was right every time. I'm so sorry. For the record, for the 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 documented record, time stamped, uh, subpoenaable. You were saying that you were justified in shooting children more than one time in this game. Yeah, because they were trying to kill me. So okay, and the only response you had was to use your gun on these children. Stand your ground, America. Only once they started coming at me with a knife, or one of you my allies fight. with a knife. You okay, strong. so a child came at you with a knife, and you shot him with your gun. So these kids yeah, were next America. to you when you shot them. They weren't perhaps 20 or 30 feet away. And guns. So these kids weren't like 20 or 30 feet away. They were multiple squares away when you shot them. You waited until they were next to you. Because if they're 20 or 30 feet away, you could probably run away or talk them down. No, no that's, that's within point blank shot. That is legal jurisdiction. You can shoot yeah, them within, shot within 30 feet. <laughs> okay, so if they're within 30 feet, you get that plus one, then you can shoot them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. So, what if it wasn't a child? It was a half leg. And they are not people. Is that your stance? I agree. Uh, <laughs> it's racist to call them a child. <laughs> uh, well. Uh, yep. So as as your bird companion reflects on uh, child murder, what do the rest of you want to do? Mm. I say aquatic elves. Let uh, yeah. let Tommy go fuck up a boss alone again. I like that idea. Yeah. Sure. The I haven't water played water combat. That's probably the only will save I've made this whole game, and it was the most clutch one we could have gotten. It's when we needed it the most. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. Um, how do you guys want to get there? Um, well. Up to those magic users. Those magic users. I'll look around. <laughs> <laughs> Man, those guys are really useful. <laughs> well, anyways, I'll uh, bring out our wand of <laughs> reduced person. I'll begin tapping people with it. I uh, will walk through the ring gate. <laughs> I'll use their voice. Lead the way. You find yourself back in Kintargo. Uh, 
Hey, my boy. You know how you just, you know, <laughs> you know, thanks, so uh, we'll take a teleport. Sure, uh, you guys can take a long rest. Uh, that way you have uh, your resources back, and your boy also has your resources back. Perfect. So I overnight rested the only person who needs it. Thank you, thank you. And I don't actually think it does anything for anyone else. Maybe Buddy with Rage Rounds. Oh, uh, no, I there's a lot of Rage Rounds. My it resets my haste. Yeah, my boots are speed. I mean, but it doesn't... I, I don't have to do it in the software, right? I put it in as, as a spell to keep track of my uh, counts. Ah, okay. So I, say I have eight uses, or ten casts of the boots. Can you so just uncheck those? Yeah, yeah, I can. Oh. Yeah, that's what I just did. That's yeah. okay. I, can, I, can, I mean, I can just... I got you. No, that's okay. We... All right. You've all rested. I, Morning I don't comes. want to with my boots, you know? Uh, Rexus we'll do will extra. attempt to teleport. <laughs> Uh, it's a new dawn, it's a new day. We'll go and roll these things. 90, uh, you're a little off target. Probably roll, let's try some table. Because he's never been there before. <laughs> um, uh, you probably wind up, like, a, a, a day's travel away, let's say. So you'll get there at night time. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, roll, roll a d- a crocodile. Yeah, roll a d20 for me and see if you get a, a relevant random encounter along the way. A six. It certainly isn't. What is uh? What is your random encounter, Austin? Tell me about this encounter. Oh, um, uh, I think we we meet up with that hill giant that we met up with a while back and became kind of friends with. Sure. It's just like an evening of like eating some food and then like parting ways again. Yeah. No combat involved at all. We again miss that they're going after do something horrifically evil. Yeah, it sounds we didn't good. Ask. We didn't ask. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the hill giant, like, has, like, a, a sack with it. Uh, You know, it, it talks about, like, you know, it went up to the mountains for a while, and, and now it's, like, going to head down the coastline. Uh, and you, like, you chat with it. Um, It offers you, you know, it's cooking some meat kebabs. Um, Maybe you have some, maybe you don't. Uh, <laughs> probably don't want any of it, because it's, like, certainly humanoid flesh, because it's, uh... It's a giant. Uh, yeah. The sack is definitely full of, like, you know, medium-sized arms and armor. It's got, like, a few dozens worth. You recognize, like, the tabard of, like, maybe some, like, like people from the Oak Rib Inn. You know? Like, there's, like... <laughs> there's, there's, like... Oh, that's the... Oh, my God. Did there's, like, the Fushi the sisters. Cook? Like, there's, like, her necklace or something in there. <laughs> Yeah, well, thank you for taking care of the ne'er do wells that must have done damage to them. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> well, good luck to you and yours. I uh, I thought about investigating those uh those elves to the north myself, but I'll leave them for you. Ah, thank you, thank you. Spoils yes, to the first there. Yeah, he'll be like, uh, you you have a taste for this sort of thing, don't you? And you're like, oh, of course. And he'll just like use a bunch of like food puns. Uh, <laughs> a connoisseur. A connoisseur, yeah. Yeah, we'll just head south. Um, you know, you guys are kidding on. Or she, I don't remember if it was a boy or a girl, but whatever. You know. 2020. Yeah, it's just doing its thing. Uh, so the hill giant will we'll wander on. Uh, Y'all continue. Um, yeah, you, uh, you've been there before. Here is that map, though. I'll share it again. So yeah, again... You guys come in, it's like, um, you're up on, like, a bluff looking down. It's super steep and craggy. You can, like, weave your way down the path. Um, there are more elves out and about than you saw last time you were here. It seems like, uh, people have kind of started getting healthy again. Um, and they're just, like, uh, you know, out and about. Uh, maybe the kids are playing. Uh, people are, like, drying fish. Um maybe like weaving things and unless you're making some effort to be stealthy they'll just see you as you come up we're on the same team i think yeah, yeah. we're heroes around these parts aren't we yeah someone will recognize you and uh you know go get the uh the village elder do they have a uh, statue of tommy up yet do they have a statue of tommy up yet uh on a three yeah definitely um you see you see what seems to be like a nice 
uh, like, soapstone statue. Uh, you can't really... It's about... It's pretty big, though. It's, like, maybe eight feet tall. And as you get closer to it, it seems to be someone wearing, like, some sort of, like, armor. They're looking out towards the sea. They're holding, like, what looks like a pike or something from the angle you're at. And they've got, like, uh, seashells and stuff all around it. There's, like, seashell necklaces hanging off it. Um, it's got a crown made out of, like, um, various, like, uh, crystallized starfish that have been, like, fused together. And as you come around, it's definitely, like, an artist's rendering of Tommy. And he is, uh, just, just resplendent. He's got, like, a Captain Morgan foot up on the top of what looks like, um, like the broken body of like some sort of deformed squid person, like a scum. Uh, he's got like a foot up on him, and he's holding a scythe. Uh, the blade of it, it's really just like a a big old pike made of like nice driftwood that's been set into the the handle of this stone statue, and the uh, the blade of it is like a nice shard of crystal uh, that catches the light as it comes down. Um, some of the kids will, like, point at Tommy as he comes up, and, uh, you know, a, a crowd will gather and kind of stop you as you're walking through the streets. Uh, they'll begin, like, putting uh, seashell necklaces on you, uh, giving you, like, baskets of fish and things like that, Tommy, as you just try to get through here. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I embrace my people. I, I am joyous and happy. <laughs> yeah. You're, like, hustling hair and... You know, doing all sorts of stuff, making sure Sesix doesn't like fucking take pot shots on him. Yeah. <laughs> Save the kids. <laughs> one of them put the yeah. knife, fine. <laughs> one of them runs up, wants me to sign his like driftwood, you know, little uh, scythe, and yeah. he tries to point a gun at him. I'm like, no, don't, don't kill him. So Sesix, Sesix literally yells "gun" and shoots. <laughs> he's, coming he's, he's, he's coming right for us. <laughs> he's coming right for us. <laughs> oh my god so you remember the speaker she is looking better than this picture um it looks like you know kind of like the the lord of the rings where uh uh king of Rohan, like uh you know is all like infirmed and then kind of like his life force comes back it seems as if some amount of that has happened over the course of like the weeks it's been since y'all were here um well, she's not having constant ability damage done to her? Yeah, as if she's not having constant ability damage done to her. Precisely. Um, my friends, you returned! Thank you, thank you! The village prospers! Tommy, slayer of foes! And she'll, like, bow her head before you. Her, like, two attendants will come up, like, the, the young priestess girls will come up. And they have, like, very nice seashell necklaces that they'll put on you. One of them will present you with, like, a conch shell overladen with pearls. A token! We've been, we've been awaiting the day you would return! Um, no, no thank you, no thank you. Uh, I would actually like to pay for the statue. You all have done wonderful, but I can't take anything from your community. Please, let me know how much the statue costs. Please, oh, please. no more gifts. We have no need for these things. We have oh, no God. need for money here. I made the statue. She's a spellcaster. I just, I called upon the spirit of Mother Urch, and I drug up the stone from the ground, and I, I sculpted it into your image with my, with my mere thought. It, I hope it does you justice. And that's all you could do? It's, uh, of course, of course, we'll, we'll erect more statues, whatever you will. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and I'll excuse myself on the term. <laughs> I've been waiting. Uh, I knew he was gonna do something. I knew he was gonna do something. I just didn't know what she'll like, she'll like turn to her attendants and be like, go, go after him, I just pleased him somehow. Um, <laughs> Tommy, you'll like be outside or whatever, and um, a very like fit uh, female aquatic elf, and, like, a very fit male aquatic elf will come up to you, and they'll begin fawning off of you. Uh, and, like, like, oh, perhaps, perhaps you would like to, to rest your weary bones. Come, come back to our tent. The speaker, the speaker told us to take special care of you. 
Yes. I'll feel yes. very. Why open. don't you come? Sear it, sear it, and I'll just like start yelling uh, <laughs> as loud as I can. How far away from sear it am I? I mean, you're just you know ten feet or fifteen feet yeah, outside I, the tent. I, I need an adult. <laughs> Oh, I'm. I, I think he enjoyed the statue for at least a little bit. So thank you for that. I I do appreciate it as well. Uh huh. It appears you all are within good health. Yeah, I will just ignore the situation that is currently going on. Oh, very good. Um, as there's this kind of celebration going on. Um, like maybe you guys have drinks. You've like socialized a little bit. You've you, like set down your traveling packs. Your you're chilling in the speaker's house. Uh, outside, Tommy is, like, having a moral quandary as this, like, super in-shape aquatic elf is, like, doing water yoga next to him. Uh, <laughs> Why do you always end up in these situations, Tommy? I'm just uh, a fuck of a man. Why does that guy been holding down our facing dog for 45 minutes? <laughs> the, uh, like, the doors will open and, like, um... Uh, kind of like a weather-beaten aquatic elf will come in, uh, drenched in water, um, and he's got a, uh, like a net, like a fisherman net, and it has some sort of grizzly, grizzly totem in it. Um, it's almost like a cube of flesh. And it's bloated, uh, it's obviously been in the water. It's very cyanotic. It's like very blue. Uh, it's bloody, and it looks like someone has carved some weird lettering onto it, very crudely. And he'll come in and he'll be like, "Elder, Elder, another one!" And he'll like bring it up to her, and like set it onto like the stone table. As you that are inside the speaker's hut, or, uh, can see this, it is, uh, give me an, uh, uh, a heel check to see if you can identify what this is. Guys, I, I was trying to go to college, but it didn't, we, we had a rebellion. Guys, come on. A 15. Are you able to do heel, to do the heel undying? Yeah, yeah, uh, but a 15 is enough for you to know what this is. Sorry. This is the torso of a human man. Oh, I don't want to succeed. Tommy, you're not in there. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really don't different to myself to give it a <laughs> These guys are really in shape that are really trying to, you know, fuck me right now. I like how we all got right around the same. Uh, buddy, yeah, buddy, like 24. buddy, you yeah. have, uh, you've been in some scraps before, and every now and then, you just kind of, down. in the, the fray of things, limbs come off. It just happens when you hit people or lay hands upon them, and uh, you're pretty sure this is, like, one of those. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely one time where I, I punched somebody so hard that their torso fell off. Yeah, this looks more uh, surgical. Mm. As if they were, like, cut off rather than punched off. Uh, Sirit, obviously, you know, you, you notice the same thing. As you've spent a lot of time with Tommy, and he likes taking limbs off. So you, you recognize the telltale sign of, like, an arm being missing from one side of this thing, and you're like, oh, this is definitely a human torso. Huh. So you said you found multiple of these? Uh, the, the, like, scout will turn to you and be like, or the, the fisherman will turn to you and be like, oh, yeah, uh, we found... Uh, there have been a few dozen of these different areas along the trade routes. Uh, just in the last few weeks, they've been coming up. You ever find anything that wasn't the torso? He'll like shake his head and be like, no, I, wh where it is, it's only been torsos. This is, this is the first one to reach our shores here, though. The rest are in oh. villages down the coast, or found by sailors passing by. Hmm. Any ideas on uh, 
his torsos they are. They look vaguely human, but, uh, you know. Yeah, this one certainly looks like a human torso. In fact, I, I think they're probably just sailors. I don't know. I haven't seen any of the others. We just heard tell. Mm. Yeah, do you guys want to investigate the torso? Yeah. Sure. Maybe it's, uh, it. it's uh, kind of on its side. You'll have to flip it over if you want to really get a good look at this. Oh, I'll look at it, buddy. Would, would you be so kind? <laughs> yeah, I'll flip it over. Thank yeah, you. Make... you flip it over, it kind of, uh, it's like moving an oversized wet sponge. Yeah. Makes one of those noises. Um, it's very easy to read this. It seems to be in common. It says, The crew of any ship that sails from treasonous Ravenel without the blessing of Father Cheliax can expect death. Hmm. I don't. I don't know who this could be, but crazy. Um. As you're looking at it, it seems like yeah, this thing is like bloated and obviously like you know has a little bit of water wear to it, but it seems as if it's surprisingly well preserved. A little bit techy magicy. Yeah, there's definitely some sort of abjuration magic. Uh like a gentle repose or something, preventing it from rotting further. That's nice of them. Yeah. Make sure the message gets where it needs to be. Okay, so there's an asshole cleric of Asmodeus, presumably somewhere out on the water doing pirate shit. We haven't had our pirate art yet, team, and I think it's something that we could really embrace in this opportunity. We do have those favors from our uh... Sorgava. Uh, yeah. Our old captain. Yeah, our captain who could take us out there. Is our ship a fighting ship or just like a transport ship? I think we're the fighting part of the fighting ship. That is certainly yeah, what yeah. it is. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I think we just communal airwalk to the next ship and just destroy the fuck out of it. They just explode it. <laughs> just like take some barrels of like gunpowder, light it on fire, throw it at oh. them from above. How much? Uh, how much is black bomb stuff? Gunpowder stuff? I think that like Buddy can just make strength checks and just punch through the hull of the ship. Oh, I could probably do the same. Huh? Uh, oh, oh yeah. As you guys are um, as you guys are like talking about this, uh, in like kind of how you want to approach the situation, the elder would be like, "Oh, the winds, the winds." They spoke of this, and she'll like go over to where she has like a nice like a bead, uh, like tapestry or whatever hanging on the wall, and she'll run her fingers along it, and she'll be like, "The winds, they spoke of many things," and she'll be like. They spoke of a time when, you know, my rule of the tribe would end and it, uh, a new generation would take over. But before that, and she'll like her, her hands will run up and she'll be like, they spoke of a great sickness and the saviors that would come to cure us from it. And they spoke of a great evil lurking in the water and the saviors who would come to free us of it. And as she moves her hands over it, you can see it's kind of like a pictorial thing, like uh, like kind of like iconography or... Uh, kind of like cave paintings or whatever on this tapestry. And there seems to be some sort of horrific fucking sea monster that's like, it dwarfs many of the ships in the, uh, that are like there in frame with it. It looks almost like a giant fish with like the mouth of... Uh, like a dune sandworm, almost. And it has tentacles coming off it. Oh. Hmm. Well, that is worse than a pirate fight. This is monster. Scribe has a word for it. The aquatic elves. Uh, she'll say a word in elven. You guys can make uh, knowledge. Let's type the creature this is. 
you can make knowledge dungeoneering checks to see if you've heard of this. I don't get it. Not I, Fly. Uh, so she says this word in Elven. I do not. There is no translation to common. It is a mythical creature from our ancient tribes. One of our oldest enemies. You are destined to battle it, though the tapestry is unclear of the outcome. <laughs> Tommy one-shots it, don't worry. Let's go! Yeah. Just a quick overhand shot. So what are y'all thinking? Uh, uh, Tommy, you can, you can, like, tell these folks you're not interested and head back inside anytime you'd like. Uh... I will just uh, awkwardly stand here uncomfortably. I don't have the wisdom to know how to get out of the situation. Sweet. Uh, the three of you, then, that are inside, what would you guys like to do? <laughs> well, uh, do you know where it is? I don't know what it is, but I know we can get rid of ancient evils. Uh, yeah, she will tell tell you that there's a place about 80 miles northwest of here. A submerged cavern, a submerged cavern that her people avoid, known as the Urchin's Maw. It is there that your battle is destined to occur. So what if we just destroy Urchin's Maw, then do we just win? You can't destroy the ocean. He <laughs> said it's a cavern. I'll push this again for you. Cave in the cavern? Exactly. Austin gets it. Because then yeah. if it can't get out, it can't come destroy them anymore. Circumvent the prophecy. I like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know the outcome because the fuckers just didn't go do it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why. Is more <laughs> prophecy. <laughs> so so you going swimming then? Yeah. Sounds like a little swim session to me. Sure. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, I, I have freedom of I have freedom of movements for the team. I guess I have to rest for water breathing. Do you, we think we'll need to worry about swim check? Should we get something for that? I have uh, a wand. I think I have a ring of swimming because I have full plate and I would drown out here. So I'll have I have a freedom movement for everyone and then a touch of the sea. As I could we water breathing to save your wand? Couldn't we just go to like our water devils to get some free buffs? It's a minute per level. So like we could do it and then teleport in, but I mean I already have the wand. I just thought it'd be funny to go back. I have a potion of water breathing. Yeah, I have two scrolls. So does anyone else have one use of water breathing? Uh, I don't think I have a way to water breathe. I have a potion. I have three. I can hold my breath. I'll mark three uses off. Hey, oh wait, I do have a. I do I have a potion of water breathing. Hold my breath. I All right, if you want to mark one off, I'll mark two off instead, and then say you mark one. Yep, I just did. Also, does anyone that's not me have an open ring slot? I could take off the ring of swimming, but... I have a ring of spell storing with Breath of Life in it. If someone wants to have that for the emergency button, because uh, I can just, you know, do it myself. We can have two rings, right? Two yeah. rings, one for each. I have got one ring of protection plus four. That is it. Sounds like an open slot. I'll put it currently has my uh thing in it. Five die eight plus six or five die eight plus twelve. Yeah, I think you're good with state Sure. Okay. I just use it whenever? Yep. 
And just walk up and poke someone with your green lantern ring and cast a spell, Breath of Life. Oh, okay. And I can refill with other spells and stuff, but it's just the emergency button for if I die. Gotcha. Good call. Good call. Walter's like, damn, now I have to kill him twice? How much I'm is a ring? I'm just reading the ring of spell storing, like a high level one. Uh, Garm, what level of ring of spell storing is that? Uh, I just gave it to Buddy. Let's take a look. Caster level nine. Okay, so yes, you can do up to fifth level spells. There you go. They cost 50,000 gold pieces. Oh my god. I mean, yeah, none of you guys use any magic items, so I just get all the good stuff. <laughs> it is funny that we only have one magic user in this campaign. <laughs> right? I have a bunch of stuff that's like 5k and then a gun worth like a small city. So yes, you guys head out. How are you going to travel the 80 miles? Uh, we can just use a favor, right? So, Gavin, get your boat over here and let's get going. Uh, sure. Yeah, it sounds fine. Well, you send word far. for him. He'll sail from Kentargo promptly. He'll probably reach you within a day or two. Uh, for you know, he's a fantastic sailor. His ship will arrive um, as you've made your preparations, and you all can hop on the boat uh, and head through the dismal niche, which he'll navigate very expertly. Towards the urchin's maw. Yeah? Good again. Cool, cool. Yeah. Um, as he draws close to the area where it is, uh, you can see up ahead uh, the water is becoming very turbulent. Like the sea is becoming unnaturally choppy. You're like maybe a half mile away from the urchin's maw. This seems like a good enough place for us, Chief. Yeah. He will go ahead and, uh, you know, try to hold the ship here far too deep to cast an anchor. Uh, but he'll keep it around this general area. And you all are free to go on your own. Do you want to take one of the dinghies? Oh, we were, we were just going to do it the old-fashioned way. Cast some magic and go ahead and fuck off. All right, go ahead and cast your magic. Uh, everyone gets a freedom of movement from the wand. Everyone gets a death ward from the wand. Pro cold electricity. Uh, we all get... Uh, that was the wrong one, but who cares? Uh, I don't think we need an air walk yet. Uh, Sezix gets a true saying. Uh, I get some buff spells. Go forth and conquer, team. Oh, blessing in the mold so you can see in this one. Or see in the dark. There you go. Now we're good. So, let's go here. And we've all got touch of the sea, too, yeah? Yes. What is this map called? Ooh, that's a big old map. Zoom this bad boy up. Perfect. Yes. You said we got protection from some of them, right? Isn't that... Cold electricity? Yeah. Resist, sorry. Do you know oh, resist? Yeah. Sure. I... You all begin flying? Are you swimming? Swimming. Uh, sure. Do you have swim speeds? Yeah, touch the sea. Okay, cool. You all begin swimming. Um, there is... Uh, what sort of vision do we have? Uh, 30 feet of dark. Oh, perfect. You guys can see about 30 feet ahead. Um, you kind of swim into this rougher current that you're able to get through pretty easily because of your freedom of movement. And you see what looks to be a giant whirlpool underwater. You, like, pass through the edge of it, and there seems to be a huge funnel that's maybe 
you know, based off the curvature you're seeing, it could be like a hundred feet around, though you can't see that far. And it seems to be tapering and going down. So you've like entered the edge of this underwater tornado, which is like what a vortex is. Um, there's water swirching all around you, but you got freedom of movement. And it seems to be going down out of sight because you can only see 30 feet. I can see 60. You can see 60 feet. It seems to be going down out of sight, even for you with your keen rat eyes. Guys, that's pretty deep. Damn. How do you have 60 feet of dark vision? I'm a rat folk. I just checked. Oh. I have 60 base as well. Hell yeah. Oh, both of you can see 60 feet down. But it's your keen bird eyes. Fucking Humi. I don't think Ogre can scan either. Humis. <laughs> but yeah. What would you like to do? Well, everyone. This looks like fun. Yeah. It's dark and spooky. We're going into the vortex. Uh, I'll align. Oh, you guys already have. I don't need that anymore. You guys have holy weapons. I don't have a holy weapon. How are you all oh. communicating underwater? Oh, I, I don't have prob I don't have that one. I speak bubble. Yeah, it's currently bubbles, I think. So you gesture. What would you like to do? So Can Tommy. Use the ravens? Oh, uh, yeah. Sentix is like. He like taps his skull and he like motions for you guys to wait. He pulls out a, a raven and he puts it right next to his mouth and he says the command word. It turns into a bird and is sucked into the vortex as it's ripped oh from God. his hands. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see like its wings are broken as it's just fucking, fucking sucked away into this vortex and out of sight. <laughs> Go ahead and mark that. Up. Go ahead and mark that off your character sheet. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I will remember you. It's the little Good. victories, Garb. It's the little, the little victories. <laughs> I tried so hard to prepare the team for this encounter. I, uh, <laughs> but the silver ravens still fall. Forward after the homies, and then we go down. I'm just going to point go, towards down. Yeah, we have to go save it. I'll begin crying. I'll be pointing down towards the Silver Raven. Sure. As it, like, glints out of sight, uh, you yeah. begin swimming as fast as you can. 30 feet swim speed. So, like, double moving down. You guys go down and down and down. You've gone down at least two or 300 feet, and you haven't found the bottom of this yet. Um, buddy. You hear a voice in your head. It's a familiar voice. A rapturous voice. Ah, my friend. Are you doing anything right now? Do I recognize the voice? Ah! How many friends does Buddy have? Buddy only makes friends. Yeah, it seems to be a friend that you've made. You recognize the voice of Shurchagat. Your old drowning devil friend. Oh, <laughs> Targa. yeah. Oh, yeah. Bye, sure, sure got. I'll think, I guess, because I can't yeah. really talk. Good. You're there. I need your assistance for a day of service. Uh, does it have to be now? I'm about to fight a big monster. Oh, yes, it does, I'm afraid. Those were the terms of our contract. <laughs> uh, you feel as if you could resist this tug. There's like a thread in your mind. You could pull one way and like agree with him. And uh, you think that probably you would be like teleported out of here. Or you could pull against this thread and be like, I don't want to. But you feel as if it might hurt you in some way to do that. But you do think you could freely resist and choose to stay here right now. Man, that's tough. <laughs> that's tough. <laughs> um, uh, sorry, sure, she got. How about tomorrow? Sure. They'll be like, oh, I'm going to resist. 
It's unfortunate that you've decided. I will remember this. Uh, you feel a bit of a pressure upon you. Uh, you have a minus three penalty to all of your ability scores. Minus three? Yep, so basically just a minus one to your d20 rolls. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, that happens in, like, the span of an instant. The conversation doesn't even seem to take place in time. Um, and you just keep on going. Uh, as you guys go further down, so you're about 300 feet, that happens. You come a little further down, and you see that this seems to be originating from a massive creature. It is maybe 80 feet long. It's curled up like a, a giant whale kind of curled once across, resting at the bottom of the seafloor. Uh, and it is sleeping. And as it, like, breathes out through its, like, gills, the water erupts and becomes this huge vortex. Um, I'll see if there's a picture. If not, I will get one for you. So it is this thing... But it is, like, long. Imagine, like, a big prawn or something. So it's much longer than this. And, like, as it breathes out underneath, like, its chitinous flaps and shit like that, uh, there's just, like, a rush of, of water being moved by, like, this air or whatever is being exhaled from it. Also, this particular one does not have kind of that that, that tan, that like sandstone tan color stuff, it has inky black ones, like inky black chitinous stuff across it. Uh, and you see it has uh, a myriad of spines coming off its person. Well, I guess off its creature. So you see that. Uh, those of you at 60 feet. Those of you at 30 feet don't see anything. What would y'all like to do? I will garble a bunch of random noises that my compatriots will not understand that says big scary insect. You do also see the entrance to a cave next to it. The cave mouth is about 30 feet across. Mm -hmm. Kind of look at the team. Can I shoot my gun at it to, like, tell people where it is? Yeah, you see your companion drawing his gun and lining up a shot. Would you like to do uh, anything? I'll, I'll, I'll stop him from shooting the gun. Sure. You cast so air bubble on that gun? But I'll wait. Uh, I don't have air bubble. Do you have air bubble? I have cyclonic on the gun. Does that mean it fires underwater? I believe so. I will double check. No, yes, I would have needed to. No, a sheath. Was it just air? Surrounds the weapon and fluids. prevents it from being impaired by water. Yeah, so it's got like... When you make the ranged attack, a sheath of air surrounds it. So it's only when it's making attack is it protected from the environments. So you probably cast... I think you have to cast air bubble on it so it doesn't, so all the powder doesn't get wet. Because freedom of movement doesn't do that, right? It does. It's just a very slow spell, though. Yeah. A pocket of breathable air around the touched object. A firearm within an air bubble can be loaded. Yeah, it specifically says stuff about firearms to an air bubble. So that is what you want. I think Cyclonic does it. Cyclonic says prevents it from being impaired by water. Doesn't that say when it is being fired? Surrounds the weapon or ammunition, I suppose. While it is being fired. I suppose. So, it, it yeah, you're... It's air bubble as a spell. 
to get the Cyclonic. I, I can. It's a first level spell. I have plenty of slots. I mean... Cyclonic is already very good. I don't think it just lets your gun fire underwater as well. Fair. I think it allows the ammunition to... I think the air bubble in this instance, if you want to get really into the weeds, I think it's applying to the ammunition, and it's allowing the ammunition to pass through the water unimpeded. The cyclonic is the on the bullet, the air bubble's on the gun? Yeah. Would that make I sense? Because yeah, the cyclonic's only when it's fire that it happens. I will sacrifice a first level spell. Fuck you. I win. I win. I win yet again. One first you level spell it. slot. One raven. You are undone. <laughs> we are broken. <right. laughs> Anyways, can I blessing it first? We charge this fucking thing. Are, are we? Char- How would I know we're gonna charge something? I can't see it. You feel we, a rush of fervor. We know. Um, we know that uh, Sezix is pointing a gun at something. So, so Siren casts Sanctuary and kind of like oh. points at the two of you and points down. And you guys start swimming down. I was marking the Sanctuary off for the air bubble. I do not oh, have okay. Sanctuary active. Oh, never mind. Very good. I'm hittable, Walter. Well then, what would you like to do? Um, I'll start swimming in the direction everyone's pointing at. I'm ready to I'm ready to charge. Yeah, you get within 30 feet, and you see uh, this thing. We might want to look in the cave before we do all this, to be fair. Might be a reasonable decision. You think there's a bigger creature in the cave? Uh, just something that isn't a fucking Goliath. Horrific spawn. What what check would it be to identify what the fuck this thing is? You already made it. I think Dun- oh, yeah, Dungeoneering, we had no idea. Oh, well, I didn't roll Dungeoneering. Oh, you can make a knowledge engineering check. Oh. I guess technically he wasn't in part of the conversation. Oh. At the time that we made the initial roll. That's fair. Good point. <laughs> uh, you see this thing. You've heard tell of these. This is a Chartibus, an immense spiny monster. It's back plated and chitin in its belly and thick folds of blubber. It seems to just be at the center of this whirlpool. Uh, you could ask one question about it. This one seems a little different. What are its... Mm. Team? What should I ask? You cannot ask your companions. Come on, buddy. (laughs) Come on, buddy. Uh... Let I me guess, kneel uh, down here the whole time. I honestly don't know what to ask. How many attacks does it make? Sure, how many attacks does it make? Uh, it has a bite, and it has several claws. Mechanically, it has three Presumably. attacks. Presumably, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because Tommy Wood doesn't really care necessarily, because, like, unless... Tommy can only do physical attacks, so if it's immune to physical attacks, Tommy doesn't care, he's gonna try anyways. There's so, a map. Like, it's quite large. You guys are up oh near the Lord. top. The top middle. There's the entrance to the cave. Oh, it's in the oh. cave, I see. It is not in the cave. I'm mean, just gonna reveal it on the thing. Right Can you there. repush the map? I accidentally closed out of it. It is right there. 60, uh, 30 feet below you. So we've agreed it's a monster by the by the text in the book, which means it's fair game to kill it while it's sleeping, right? So I'm just going to put you guys, you're above it, so I'm just going to put you laterally how far away you are from it. If that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So the two of you are 60, and you two are 30. 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep, you can move yourself. So that would be, yep, there. And I think you're actually one closer. Let's see, right? There you go. So yeah, that's how high up from it you are. So Siret wanted to uh, go look inside the cave, but he can't communicate that, so... He that wanted us to charge. Yeah, I saw Sirrit point. It was a little off from the monster, but I saw him point towards the monster, so... Yeah, the and... team starts drawing their weapons. 
I cast <laughs> Blessing of Forever instead. <laughs> as soon as it starts moving, or if Tommy gets in reach, I'm firing. Sure. Oh. We Things can like certainly that. roll initiative. I can't wait for this to actually have been our ally to face the real big bad. Sezix, as usual, you react first. A uh, full turn or surprise round? This is a surprise round. The thing is asleep. It's sleeping touch AC is a five. Ooh. Is you it easily... evil? Uh, it is not. Oh. Pretty sure it's not. It is not. Oh, uh, you fucking blast this thing, it wakes up. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so like, this thing's asleep, you line up a shot on its head, and you blast through this thing. It seems like your bullet burns through its skull, and like, it blood plumes out of it. It wakes up in like an angry fervor, uh, and like thrashes, uh, dust starts billowing up around it. Um... We are going to have to populate this map now. Okay, so I'm going to go do the run action. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, eight. I'm not going to count all these fucking squares. Gonna do that. Swish, swim, 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 swim. Very good. Uh, it is snoozing. Just woke up. Uh, these guys will be a surprise round. They won't go yet, buddy. Hey, so in a surprise round, uh, I can't make a full round attack. Correct. How does that work with? my charge you have one standard action so you can do a limited charge where you just charge and get one attack all right i'll just charge and get one attack uh does this thing have boundary flexes because it's awake now doop -a doop -a doop it does not cool 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 well let's get our attack in i'm assuming holy is applicable here nope it is not evil oh it's just a sea monster. Yep. Okay. Well, it's still the same die roll on it. The damage will just be different. Um. So 45 to hit. Yeah, it hits. Flat-footed AC is 28. Let's deal 29 damage. Is that with your minus one from strength? Oh, no. So yeah, subtract one. Sorry. You can just put three damage in all your ability scores, and I'll do everything for you. Yep. Uh, speaking of which, I just realized I have strength damage. Bummer. Uh, Tommy! Uh, <laughs> it's a goddamn guess, shame, kid. Is it damage I'll, or drain? I have put it in as damage, so I'm gonna assume damage. Okay, you've healed one point while sleeping, so you only have one point of strength damage, so it doesn't do anything. Problem solved. I was going to say, can I just say I drank this potion of less restoration? It's oh, that's one. fine. Yeah, just mark just it off. It off like so it. I've gotten I've gotten a raven and a potion. Dang. I don't know and where a, I got and that. And a damage. first level spell. Damn. I'm winning, Garb! I'm winning! <laughs> Give me all those resources! But do we just sip them up? Uh, yeah, Tommy, you hit this thing as it's like in its stupor waking up. I'll take a plus two from Blessing of Forever Daisy. You fucking cut into it. I wouldn't even think Sir, about it. your companions are just like decimating this aquatic sea whale. It doesn't look like a friend. <laughs> <laughs> we were destined for a great battle, and from what I've heard, starting off with shooting someone in the head while they're asleep is all the markings of a great battle. Well... Walter said this one was black, so I figured it was appropriate. Well, that's when you would have shot him while he was running away. 
Oh, I was just doing warning shots. Mm. He was doing the equivalent of when someone's handcuffed and you go taser, 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 but you pull out your Glock and shoot him in the back of the head on a train in Chicago. It was an accident. I meant to grab the taser. Oh, sorry, that actually happened. My bad. Taser, 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 taser. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I shot him. Sir, what do you want to do? Oh, it is my turn. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just reminiscing. I'm on a five, huh? Uh, they look like they're having a great time. Uh, well, um, give them a small thumbs up, maybe. I'm thinking, guess old person. Yeah, good job, team. Keep it up, Sussex. All you, baby. Uh, I'll swim a little bit. Sure. I'll swim up to Sussex. Top of the round. Sezix, you're up. Now that it is awake, its AC is a five. <laughs> Got him. Five for touch? Yeah, how do you kill this thing? Well, it I'm used to gonna... be a one because it was prone with a minus four, you know? <laughs> it was. I'm going to start shooting it you're in like, each of its eyes. <laughs> yeah. I'll just shoot it in each eye. Sure. Uh, you kill this thing. Uh, its body is just lying there on the seafloor. Bleeding. Flat. Well, shall we continue? Cool. Looks like we did it. I'll give a thumbs up in the water. Sure. We Boss saved the town, Patrick. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna Boss dead. this. Mm -hmm. I think all we've done is chum the waters a little, but oh god, what if a giant sea shark comes? What if two giant sea sharks come? Yeah. Buddy, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm gonna start swimming towards this cave. Sure. That's what I, that's what I did. Just keep swimming. Just uh, swim. my ready to action will go up. Did you drop rage? This uh, that was no, I'll keep raging for a little bit longer. Oh, okay. Do you usually keep raging for like a round or two after combat ends? Yeah, I've got a lot of rage points to work with, so. Okay, I'll note that for the future. And remind you if you ever want to drop rage early that it's out of character for you to do so. Yeah. <laughs> Another point for the Walter Bucket. <laughs> Another point for the Walter Bucket. You son of a bitch! <laughs> no, As I look at my... As I look at my 30-something rage points. <laughs> Very good. Are you, are you not immune to fatigue yet? Uh, I have to double check. I have something for it. Bitch! There's some ions. Yeah, shark! Like oh god, it's a shark. We said, what if there's two oh. sharks? <laughs> oh, a 15 to hit your flat-footed, as you didn't expect this creature, as it was outside of your dark vision. I, I will go back to the point where I was raging, so I was expecting something. You can't be caught flat-footed anyway. It misses you. <laughs> it seems oh, to be fair. a regular shark. <laughs> oh. No. I've always wanted to punch a shark in, in the I'm reading. nose. I've always wanted to punch a shark. I think the only way to make this challenging is to have you fight everything in here at the same time. Bring kind it. Of, yeah. <laughs> Fucking bring it, Walter. Throw a couple sharks in there, too, while you're at it. Throw <laughs> a couple more of those sharks. <laughs> wow. Companion. Fucking aggressive, dude. <laughs> We're raging right now, Walter. Okay, okay, Buckaroo. I'm coming. I'm so I, I have I a lot. I have a, dude, they're so fucked. They're like level seven. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, you're up. It seems a shark is if uh, a shark is coming to attack your companion. What would you like to do? Uh, I guess I'll use Blessing of Fervor for movement speed, and I'll come punch the shark. Sure. <laughs> right the nose. Are you the nose. Hold on, hold on. Are you moving through a square that shark threatens to get to there? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, he says. Aggressive. Shark, 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 shark. Oh, come a on. A 2040. I wanted to crit so bad. 
Oh. Seems as if Double it's missed 20s. you. Seems as if yeah. it's missed you this time. A forty-two will just get there on the shark. Uh yeah, the shark goes to bite you. You like let it bite like the plate of your armor, shrug it off, and like take your scythe and disembowel this thing. It is barely alive. So how do I do a bull rush combat maneuver? You make a CMB check against their CMD. I've never bull rushed, but I'm allowed to do that or trip as a free action, and I kind of want to knock. You this cannot thing underwater. trip underwater, so that I can do bull rush or that. Yeah, I was just letting you know that you actually okay. yeah, you Push can them. you can only bull rush, bitch. Okay, so I'm gonna bull rush. I'll allow it. Uh, at twenty three, it will shove it. It shoves it back from you, so you can either go south, or you can go west, or you can go diagonal. Uh, diagonal. Mechanically, uh, Bull Rush makes combat maneuver bonus against someone's combat maneuver defense. If you succeed, you push them back five feet. For every five feet you beat their combat maneuver defense, you push them an additional five feet. So you push the shark into the wall, it can't move into the wall, it takes 1d6 points of bludgeoning damage. It'll take one more. Oh! Yeah. And, oh, yeah. technically... If you were above air, they would fall prone because they hit the wall. Yeah. Alas. Or, like, push them off a cliff. The Sparta King. That'd be a funny character. Sarah, idea. it seems as if your companions are battling a shark. Well, I'll take movement speed, I'll swim up. They look like they're really into it. Uh-huh. This guy should be over here. Uh, I'll just... Uh... Man. Great job, Shark. Keep it up. I'll offer the Shark some words of encouragement. I'll... Uh, pass my turn. Sure. Sezix, there is a Shark. Uh... Oh, Tommy. Let me reveal more of this map. For those of you watching at home, I'm certainly cheating to make it more challenging. Ever think we did these in the wrong <laughs> order? <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have done the hag first. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, Garm. Maybe the seven random encounters we had fighting the hags. <laughs> <laughs> You're up, Sezix. Uh, are oh, we no, drink potions water. underwater? You cannot drink potions underwater because an item exists called a potion sponge that allows you to drink potions underwater. Okay. You sponge it in your mouth. Uh, I'll walk up to here. If if Syrit casts air bubble on you, then you could drink potions underwater, but he only casts it on your gun. But I don't like you. You hit the shark companion. It dies. <laughs> you shoot the shit out of shark companion one. And I'll take AC from Blessing of Fervor. Um, of course, you know that shark companion means there must be a shark master. Oh, no, oh my god, there's a shark master? It was a companion to something. Oh my god, it was. it's a ranger with a shark. Oh. That's kind of a cool build. Right? Yes, it's like you've encountered cool these before. It. It's a fucking scum. Scum Ranger 1. Oh, he was just outside your line of sight. How unfortunate for you that you didn't move one more square forward. Yeah. Now, you might be saying, Walter, didn't you just move him one square back so he wouldn't see him? I cannot confirm prove nor deny it, that. It, there is it. no record of this in existence. Nor you don't have a recording made. of that? And that's There's no it. recording. This guy is frothing at the mouth. It seems as if his body is covered in a tangle of thick briars. And his sword, uh, his, his trident is heavy, laden with some sort of lead-like weight. Uh, and he will come up and he will fucking kill you. Okay. He only gets one attack. A 24. It's a miss. I have a 32 AC. Hold on now. I have favorite enemy. Humans. Are you a human? 
I am. What's your AC? 32. It will still miss. He hates humans, but not out. quite enough. Not quite Let's enough see. to bridge that gap. What spells am I going to continue to cast here? I have cast one of these. I've cast ooh, one of these. And this turn, we're going to cast this one, but we're going to move first. Okay. Sounds good. Swim, 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 swim. Swim, 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 swim. Lumber, lumber, lumber. Lumber, lumber, lumber. Okay. Uh, oh, it's not its turn yet. I'm so sorry, game. I was going out of order. Uh, some of my people will move in the the side area here. Don't worry about it. Buddy! Uh, there is a Scum Ranger 1 standing there. He's swimming. He seems very upset. Oh. Oh, five foot step. I'll take, using Blessing of Fervor, get another attack. We'll take four attacks. Hold on a second. Now, these guys are just walking into a meat grinder. They did Fatal Funnel themselves. Alright, do it up. Yeah. Uh, are they evil? Now, who can really say? Because it matters so much. Who can really say if someone's evil or good these days? You will miss on a one. I'm very glad I cast Barkskin. Just in case right. I make a crossbow like shot. It looks like they all hit. It sure so. does. It sure does. One. Is any of this cold damage? No. I have resist cold ten. Um, Two, three. Don't worry, Vault. That's for me with my ice cold burns. Are you oh. sure you don't have any cold resistance? And then I've got a die for rending claw here. There's no need for that. Right. Certainly we can talk this out. Yeah, uh, my this turn. this thing is like floating in the water, bleeding out. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was dying two dice ago. <laughs> cool. Super super neat, guys. There's chum in the waters, boy. Bring That's more okay. sharks in. That's okay. Where's Secula when you need her? Jeez. Just... It's nice to know that all games devolve at this level, Walt, and it's not just my games. <laughs> nice to know. I mean, so far you guys have killed a level four shark and a level eight ranger tommy oh, you cannot take that away from us <laughs> yeah, hey i started. took three thousand gold from you i took a silver <laughs> raven <laughs> that's an artifact it's a fucking artifact uh, it was a symbol us. of your people's heritage strip. so i'm gonna take a plus two no. ac from blessing of fervor but i'm gonna pop haste i'm gonna move 60 feet forward Sure, I'm going to go ahead and reveal that you see these things. Uh, 10, do you need to do the haste? Can't you just take the fervor move speed? I want the 2 AC because I'm going deep behind it. You, you probably want to see that I've revealed enemies. Oh, uh, probably, yeah. But you can... Yeah, I'd stop at him then. I mean, you can continue if you want to. But yeah, so you, you pop your hates. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. As you're swimming through, it seems as if this cave is, like, roughly torn through. It seems as if giant claw marks just kind of chiseled this out. Hmm. As if maybe you've encountered a creature that could have made these claw marks already. Uh, what do you want to do? There seems to be another shark there and another scum ranger. I guess I will just attack. The guy in front of me. With there you the go. pal. Oh. The tide no. the tide turns. That's the last water pun I wanna fucking hear out of you. <laughs> God damn do it. Uh, it seems as if they're acutely aware of the limitations <laughs> of your dark vision and are choosing to to be wise. The scum ranger, <laughs> the scum ranger with uh, uh, an ingenuity that maybe has eluded his peers will swim five feet to the side of you. 
He will then motion Snicker Snack for his shark companion in a pincer maneuver. Oh my god, to flank him? They will flank, flank you, Tommy. Uh, as a reminder, you can you can concede at any time. We can start playing another campaign where you feel like you have more, a of a, action. more of a chance to win any of these insurmountable combats. If you want me to dial back the difficulty at any time, I'm okay with that. Um, you just have to tell me you're a coward, and I will I will grant it to you, Tommy. I will grant a you a little sweet, crying. I also listen. sweet relief from oh, death. He's gonna die. Oh, oh he's gonna die. Oh. That is AC on the nose because I took the plus two. That's oh, actually too higher because you're a human. Uh. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> um. Well, my friend, he was going to power attack, but, you know, I didn't want to go too hard on you. He also would have missed if I'd power <laughs> attack. <laughs> 17. 17, Tommy. So, like, you've had many battles across your life. You know, you've been in street fights, but never has a scum ranger pierced you as accurately as this one has. Um, you have so many vital organs, you know, that all work together to keep your body in this beautiful homeostasis. And it takes its spear and it jabs it as hard as it fucking can, like into your left toe. <laughs> and it really smarts. It really smarts. <laughs> Uh, while you're distracted, reeling from this pain, uh, the shark gets a 28 misses. Uh, uh, Siri, you're up. You uh, can see Tommy looks to be near death. What would oh you like to do? Oh my god. <laughs> there is blood in the water. I will uh, lean over to Sezix. I will release a few bubbles out of my mouth. I will uh, tuck my holy symbol, pull, pull it up out of my uh, pocket. I will begin, continue releasing bubbles as I move 30 feet forward. Uh, I'll take armor class. I will channel positive energy. I will expend an additional use of my channel positive energy to cast daylight along with it. Ooh. Uh, as a blossoming light cleric. Tommy, I'll heal you. Uh, I will selectively channel, not including the sharks and the shark companion and the scum ranger. I'm sorry, Walter, but I, I just have to. I'm the dead. scum ranger behind you that's bleeding to death. Are you going to exclude him? Maybe I should let him in. Uh. <laughs> no, you already know it says this is going to shoot him again if you do. No, I guess I'll exclude him too. Very good. Uh, I'll have a 60 foot daylight on me now. Once again, uh, cowardice is the word of the day as you know you bring magic into a fight between peers Tommy this was a one on one with a shark uh, <laughs> honest combat against equals and you have again turned the scales in your favor by relying on deceitful things like magic um, so you know, enjoy that. But they're um, spellcasters. What do you mean? I used magic. They literally cast bark skin. Hey, hey, you're fucking him. So it's all your fault. <laughs> you got a hit on me. He's he's in the fight. <laughs> We're even. You got a hit. I'm only gonna hit him four times next turn. You know. Sezix, uh, you see uh, an embroiled combat here between a scum, Tommy, and a shark. I take move speed and get up to here. Hmm. Let's see here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh. Yeah, your dark vision is sixty feet, so it just reveals it for your companions. Hmm. You see uh, uh, that cluster of things up there. There also seems to be another creature that you can barely make the outline of uh, at the edge of your vision. Man, Tommy did cheat by getting healed. Maybe I should shoot him. Yeah. Can you collateral in this game, Walt? Even I think you should out. let him collateral here. Even it out. Hold on now. Don't, don't. I only have a touch AC of 14. Please don't shoot me. 
<laughs> I can only miss on a one, even with uh, a third attack. Thanks for telling me all your weaknesses. The scum will now begin targeting Touch AC. Uh, <laughs> just poking you in the chest? Yeah, they, listen to your bust. They all pull out their guns. <laughs> So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> These rangers are actually gunslingers. They are now. Uh, no, I'll shoot. Uh, you notice, yeah, you notice that these uh, these creatures in the back seem to be moving a little fast. Wait, whoop. Uh, you only get one attack, of course, because you moved. I just grabbed the wrong guy. You blast the shit out of that shark. Um, Scum Ranger 1. Uh, he will roll to stabilize. This is probably worth my time. He will stabilize, hell yeah. Good for him. Well, back to me with my spells, you say. What shall we cast next? It seems as if you all are navigating this area pretty well. What is the range of this spell? Fuck you, Cat's Daylight. I am the Blasphemy Light of Kentargo. Fuck yes. What's your caster level, Garm? 12. Sweet. Roll this d20 here. Uh, very good. A spell is cast upon Sezix. What wand effects are on Sezix? Uh, Freedom of Movement, 7th level, Death Lord, 7th. True uh, Seeing. True Seeing is cast. Uh, Touch of the Sea, 5th. Touch of the Sea is a 1st level spell. I have a wand, 5th level. It only lasts a minute, and that's bad. Oh, so you bought a 5th level wand? Yeah. How much did that cost? Like 2,000 gold or something. Oh, uh, it's Not way more than 2,000 gold. For a fifth level? Shouldn't be. Really? It's Yeah, it's cheaper than a second level one. I can send you the formula. No, no I got it. I'm just surprised. Um, okay, so Touch of the Sea is fifth. Is that his lowest spell? Uh, the lowest, yeah. Very good. Uh, you no longer have a swim speed. Sezix, you no longer have Touch of the Sea. You see the effects of it to spell magic. Seems to have hit your companion. Oh, oh no. Further forward, though. Ah, uh, uh, how's that turn? Scum Ranger 4. Fresh meat. Uh, Scum Ranger 4 is moving very swiftly. Uh, it will go around in such a way that it would provoke from Sezix if he had a melee weapon. That's a they will each attack Sezix. The pincer maneuver. Dangerous. Pioneered. Bye. Uh, this is only the first attack's gonna count here. A 32 to hit. Yeah. Let's go. Are you a aquatic human? I'm not. Are Not you anymore. a? <laughs> are you a human? Human? No. I do not have favorite attack on you. Oh, it savages you. Shark companion Quattro is coming in hot. Oh, misses. Bloody. You're up. Uh, let me charge sure. this shark. Heck Why yeah. are they plus three to hit? Are you like removing power attack? They have spell effects as well as flanking. Uh, yeah, okay. They seem to be moving. Flanking. They seem to be moving a little quick, as if they have haste. Ah, uh, yeah, I, that's what the quick is. Whoa, natural one. At one. Very good. Oh, that hits. That's good. Which means I'll get my rend claw. Oh, it's dead. Yeah, you've done damage to it twice now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you uh, just ripped the shark in half. 
since I charge, can I turn to the side and do my yeah. bite attack? Or? Yeah, you definitely can. They do not all have to be on the same target, I believe, for pounce. Correct. Uh, should be. I believe you're correct, yes. I mean, you just, you just like grab right. the sharks and throw them together. Just hit them together, clobbering time. Yeah, it's clobbering. Yeah. No, it's it's the shark puncher boss from Freehold. Because he's an ogre kid. Somebody just runs in and like sticks his arms in the mouths of these two sharks and then beats them against each other until they fall apart. <laughs> oh, man. I was watching some of our Good. old uh, dungeon crawls that we did back in uh, in WoW, and I was like, it's a good game, man. No, it's Dude, fun. Freehold was awesome. Freehold was awesome. Well, what was the other one? Seems as if magic's okay, you fucks. Wait, that's just on the table? That's fucked up. That's just fucked up. Maybe you should have more magic users. Uh, magic users don't use gun, though, and do you see what that fucking gun did? It's called gun magic, gun. Single... gun magic, yes. But I'm not, like, I haven't gotten past the first. I'm only halfway through. Cool. So, uh, describe to me, gun man, how all your gun things work. So you have your gun. In order for your gun to work, you have to, like, you have to put a shot into it. And that's the bullets, right? The pew pews. Where do you keep those? <laughs> uh, handy haversack. Okay, so you're reaching in your handy haversack every time you need a bullet. I would say I keep all of my adamantine bullets in there, and then I have regular ones just in like pants pockets. Gotcha. So you've been firing adamantine ones this combat, or regular ones? adamantine ones how much does that cost you guys are fucking just blowing money left and right on you these you're mad about three grand come on walt he's balling on a budget no stones gate in this fucking household <laughs> yeah. adamantine bullets how much do they cost i didn't think they were very much i might be 61 gold that. pieces First shot, oh my god. Are you firing 61 gold piece bullets, or are you firing the not 61 gold piece bullets? How much are silver ones? That's probably what I meant. Silver ones do one less point of damage. Is there something in between? I yes. haven't looked at this in a long time. Regular bullets. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's just go with that. I've just been firing Very good. Bullets. Go ahead and give me... <laughs> yes, so nickel time with this fight is the only way, Garb. You gotta get there, Walt. I, yeah, I'm trying my best here. You know, the only victory is what they can get today. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to make it fun uh, for you guys. <laughs> really, <laughs> otherwise, who knows? <laughs> oh God, it's such a low DC. There's no way. <laughs> You know what's funny is I probably could have gone and ran that errand with Shershagot, and you guys would have been. <laughs> <laughs> give me a here. give me a will save, Buckaroo. Your pants are non magical, correct? I believe so. Yeah. Your pants take. Oh. My. God. They're coming right for us. They're coming right for us. Uh, your pants take... Is that 10? Your pants take 37 points of damage. And are destroyed. Oh, his rat cock is out? As a sonic boom erupts, sundering your pants, all of your shot floats down into the water because it's made of lead. It sinks! It's gone! You have to use your expensive bullets now. <laughs> it, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't know you have more bullets. It was just like, oh good, it doesn't have gut bullets anymore. In fact, it didn't realize you have second bullets hidden elsewhere. <laughs> it's just like, oh, it's pulling out of his pocket. Destroy the pants. Uh, yes. Walt is getting so desperate for a win. He's willing to sack around to get a win next round. 
<laughs> hey now, that's oh, fun. Uh, I then will also need the three of you up front there to make will saves against a uh, compulsion mind affecting effect. The will saves. Yarp. Mm, I'm gonna use Cap of the Freethinker if I fail. I'm uh, gonna use my reroll as well since I got a natural one. Uh, everyone is not gonna get there. Maybe. Contrary to popular belief. A little better. It's a 16. I'm gonna just do it. Oh, interesting. It doesn't show me math here. Do I have to like. Freethinker saves. Drop this on here. I just want to see what the DC was. Okay, what'd you guys get? 16. Cool. I'm like five. Sixteen, my guy. Uh, a spell erupts between your companions. Buddy, we'll be talking later. Tommy, you are up. Uh, can I do so I, Oh, I can't see. I can't see the oh. spellcaster. Can I? You cannot see the spellcaster. And there are no visible effects. Yeah, I'll give you this one. I right, back off. You got it. You got me. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no visible spell effects. All I know is just some some shits happening. There's some it. pressure in your mind. You saw chaotic images swirling around. Your mind, for a moment, was not your own, as it has been so often in the past. But you called upon the reserves of your magic item like a fucking coward to reroll, and now you're fine. <laughs> Get shit on. <laughs> Thanks, Austin. Well, Austin, yeah. Austin, like a man wasting a beat slot to re-roll this shit and still failed. That's the kind of that's ogre kid that's me. the kind of ogre kid we need in office, okay? Failure we need, is we need a statue option. of him. He's the real MVP. But he's just picking his nose. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, it was certainly not this guy that cast the spell. Well, I, I mean, my mind gets weird all the time. I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You you tear into this guy. Um, he yells "Castle Doctrine" at you as you came into his home. That's a good point. Didn't think about twenty three is not gonna hit him. Wow, it's racist. He has an AC of twenty seven. He has Bart. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take blessing of fervor and get an extra attack. Whoa! You declare blessing of fervor at the start of your turn. I'm so sorry. No, you, you're good. Okay. <laughs> I, I, need, I, need, I need everything I can. I need all the edges. Well, if it, if you hit if you hit the guy, it's over. I can't. I won't be able to afford my mortgage. <laughs> uh, yeah, you slice into this guy. Um, it seems as if you know these scum. You remember these guys? They're like frog people. They're like you know, uh, you know the swamp creatures or whatever from the old pulp novelly type things. Um, that is certainly what this type of creature is. He don't think he necessarily feels anything. Um, or is considered people, so you just start chopping into him like he's a cord of wood. Uh, he's very injured, though. Blood, black ichor, you know, oozes and sprays out of him as you sever various arteries and veins. Uh, anything else for you, Tommy? Oh, uh, no, I think that's good. Scum Ranger 3. Long has he waited to prove his quality. He will charge in. His Sharkable will come in as well. They'll each make one attack on you. Uh, so only the first one of these, Tommy. Oh only those die hit. rolls were reversed. That was his second attack. Yep. As you see, attack number oh. one. Alas, is in this. But don't worry. This shark who is charging, he's the chosen child of the urchin's maw. A 28? Ooh. You don't have haste. Yeah, 32 is my AC without haste. Fuck you. <laughs> Scum Ranger 2. Uh, he will go down fighting. He does not have any bonuses to these die rolls. Yeah, I'm a coward and have a plus 5 mithril full plate. I mean, he gets all his attacks now, though. He will bite you and claw you. Oh! Oh! What? What was that? Uh -huh. Human? Human! Uh, his claw tastes through your skin. Another snicker snack. Max damage of 12. Damn. Sear it. 
This is a harrowing battle. Oh god. It looks like he's injured. It looks as if looks perhaps like multiple. Uh oh. Sensic seems to have just like dropped all of his marbles. <laughs> just like <laughs> scattered <laughs> to the sea floor. Thanks, Walt, for setting up my cleaving finish. <laughs> Got you, homie. Well, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> you forgot I had cleaving finish, didn't you? I would never forget oh. you. I think this time I actually will cast Sanctuary. I'm just gonna, like, are, are we at... I'll, I'll make the figurative Dinger Bell ringing. I'll kind of look at the team. I see that Buddy isn't really looking at me anymore. Sezix is covering his junk. Tommy is looking at No, he's not. Sezix got his little <laughs> rat dick hanging out. Pull out his second musket. Your musket's still fine. You just don't have bullets. You pull out the second one anyway. <laughs> Do wield a musket. Pull out the uh, yeah, second one. Do you keep the other one in your pocket as well? Did that musket fall to the sea floor? No, what else was in your pockets? Fine. What else was in your pockets, sir? Oh, God. I want uh, a fucking see. itemized list dagger. on my desk. Single space, Times New Roman, normal I'll margins. This potion of cure light wounds. Question: Do, do we you can just recover them? Move? You just recover you them. Up. I don't care enough. It's. Oh, uh, no, I'd say his belt is still there. It's. Yeah, it's the belt is still present. It's right? only a okay. second level spell garment. It can't destroy two articles of clothing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's just the actual pants pocket. So he probably lost like his it was, wallet. It was shatter. Keys. It was shatter. I think he did like half damage because <laughs> we were underwater, but still enough to destroy your cargo pants or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely his house keys are in the sandbar. <laughs> yeah. Bro, my house keys are the, at the sewer. Okay. Yeah, I'll cast Sanctuary. I'll uh, nod at everyone. Seems like everyone's doing great. Very good. Well, well, well. Now, the thing with these combats as they go is that sometimes things aren't always as they seem. As you thought, that one outside was the big one. When you didn't realize there was another one that is, quote, the big one. It will barrel out of the cave. Damn. Barakama. This one has a name. It will go to there. It's gonna make a bite. Gonna make a little chomp chomp. on this guy. Oh. Bonk. Tommy. Thomas, Tom, Mr. T, Tomasto, Tomatio. I don't have any more. Are you good aligned? Uh, I don't think my one sarcastic comment would have brought me down to neutral, so yes. Beautiful. Thank you. From me to you, thank you. College student to explode. Thank you. I've had an atonement. Oh. He did get his own after killing a college student. Jesus Christ. What a day. <laughs> for Tommy, not for that guy, of course. Um, what is your I AC? I didn't kill him, I just bullied him. Uh, my AC is 32. Okay. Uh, you did not see this creature, uh, so you were momentarily flat-footed too. But you see it now. You'll no longer be flat-footed in the future. Flat-footed 30. That's what I wanted. To thank you. Thank you. That's the perfect number for it to be. If it was, in fact, slightly higher, I would be very upset. But it's not. Oh, I'm going to get fucking CMD'd, aren't I? No, you got for your movement. Oh. Uh. It definitely tries to... It, so this thing bites you. It definitely tries to swallow you. I'm just figuring out the math here. Um, So that's 12. So that's plus 26. And then it's vital striking. So it's going to be... So it'll just do the damage, and then I'll do a couple more dice on you. So another... It has improved Vital Strike. And another 18 on top of that. So... Two off greatness. 79. So this thing tears into 69. you. 67. 67. He was, he was 61, and I did 18 more. Okay. I see. Okay. All right, I understand now. Yeah. You're so, right, okay. Yep. 
uh, this thing bites the shit out of you. It tries to grab a hold of you, but you uh, quickly, like, slip out of it because you have that freedom of movement. Uh, it seems perturbed at this. Uh, that was its turn. Sezix. Uh, he's going to five foot step. Uh, Tommy's got that clump. I want to shoot the ranger, but yeah, no, I'm going to shoot the ranger first. All of those will hit the ranger. As you begin blasting him. Ba 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 boom. Damn. Well, that's what I got. I'll uh, mark off some gold. Yeah. I still have one <laughs> bullet left. Are you me. drawing those adamantine rounds? I'm oh, yeah. yeah, I'm counting them off. I'm gonna use um Blessing of Fervor for one more attack. Oh cheeky. Clever girl, the scum ranger turns to you. Clever girl. Is you just fucking blow him away. Uh he's he is dying. He is dying. That I one is stabilized. 240 gold worth it. <laughs> worth it. 240. Easy. Another drop in the bucket! Boom! Uh, Selling your equipment. Is there anything better that I can do than just casting Dispel Magic every round? Probably not. <laughs> uh, yeah. This one will cast a Dispel Magic. This time it'll be on Tommy. I think this one will be on Tommy. Yeah. Let's roll that die, baby. Here we go. Where we stop, we never know. Nothing happens. I rolled very low. It fails to dispel even your lowest level spell. Uh, Ranger 4. Roll the steam of that. It's gonna need a, uh... You know, like, what is the Like a fucking 16 on this. Natural 20! Easy! Easy! Buddy, roll me percentiles. Percentiles. Yeah, let's roll some percentiles. Maybe let's spice it up a bit. 34. Buddy, uh, you are just kind of mired in the water and begin, you know, chuckling to yourself. Nice. That was your turn. Easy peasy. Yeah. I don't have any save or anything? Nah, we already did uh, that. Uh, Alright. So yeah. Let's go ahead and have the three make a will save again. Uh, Garm, you can make a spellcraft check. His buddy seems to be acting bizarre. And uh, the three up front will do another will save. Definitely. 30. Definitely 30, confusion. Walter. Sounds good. Yeah, definitely affected by confusion. Mm -hmm. And you see Tommy's eyes glaze over in a similar fashion. Sezix, you seem to have saved. Sezix, go ahead and give me another will save at a plus Five. 30 then. How you resist this one? It seems as if someone was trying to be like, we're friends. Aren't we friends? You still can't see this creature. Because right. I have a reach greater than 60 feet. Sweet. Sezix doesn't have friends anyway. Tommy, you are He's confused. Go ahead and roll percentiles. Oh, ho, 88. Ooh. You're going to attack the closest creature. I count four of them. Uh, we'll say a one is buddy. Two, three, four going around. Why don't you roll a d4? Two, Not you are going to attack Scum Ranger 2. Nothing has changed. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take uh, Blessing of Fervor to get an extra attack. Very good. I'm gonna use, or no, I'm going to get AC from Blessing of Fervor and I'm going to use haste. Sure. It is super dead. You right. hack this thing apart. So that spawns cleaving finish on one, and I also get to make an intimidate roar or from Dreadful Carnage as a free action. I'll let you make your intimidate roar. You unfortunately will not attack another creature this turn, as you're confused. Okay. 
You had that bloodlust. You just wanted to kill that one. But you can certainly intimidatingly roar. Where's intimidating? Ah. So that one's just in like seven pieces. That thing's at like That's negative like five, fucking. Five. Well, the rest are going to be probably crits basically against its carcass. So, yeah. Uh, Each one just takes off a different limb. It's yeah. You quarter waters. this thing up. The water's chummed. Barigma. Oichuta. Bonk. It will slurm slightly closer. Uh, you got that bloodlust in your eyes, Tommy. I like that. I like that in my confused people. Uh, dude, where do we want to go? I think we're just going to go into Sussex. That way Garm can heal multiple people. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's not my turn. Scum Ranger 3 gets to go. Let me back this guy up. Back him up. Uh, after seeing that, Scum Ranger 3 is going to withdraw. <laughs> do you have step uh, up? I do have step up. Yeah. There it is. Uh, he'll provoke one attack. Continue his movement. Okay. Uh, yeah, I get that crit. Oh. <laughs> Huge! We <laughs> missed. Huge beats. Uh, so he'll move over to there. The shark will move over to here. The shark will bite you. Uh, I basically need a 20 anyway. Its bonus is slightly higher. It misses. Whatever. Sirit, what do you want to do, Buckaroo? By the lightning's blessings. Uh, okay, perfect. Still within range. I will five foot scoop forward. Whoa, you can see a creature down here. Oh my god. As if you can see the thing that's been casting fucking Quicken Confusion every turn. <laughs> Shouldn't I have been able to see it if he can? Uh, oh, sorry, you can't see it. It's, I think, 65 feet away from you. It's uh, 55 from me. Then yes, sorry. It would have been slightly further back. It came forward this time. You now see it. Its range is uh, like 100 feet. I'm pretty sure this is a confusion effect, though. Yeah. Uh, I will liberation domain standard action. Uh, everyone is immune to confuse, grapples, frightened, panic, paralyzed, pinned, or shaken uh, within a 30-foot radius around me. Wow. I That's will... you being a little paladin over there. I'm a little healer boy. All quick channel. What is this called? Uh, Liberation Domain, the 8th level power. The Freedom's Freedom call. call. Cool. Yeah. Uh, my, I realized very early that it was my job to make the will saves for you guys. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> All, right. Heal. All right. That's my turn. All right. I don't need to move forward. I can move backwards. I'm gonna grab water real quick. But of course. Coward's way, Walter. Blarp. I'm just attacking this guy over here. And I get Una more bite. Because I'm heisted. So dose bites will hit you? Uh, no, I took uh, plus two to AC. So, so one bite will hit you? Yep. Alright. Thank you for reminding me. Um... So only one bite, which is good, because it does pretty good damage on a bite. You take 46, as it bites into you. The other attacks miss, um, just glancing off of your armor, and you're, you know, maybe dodging out of the way with a little bit of help from the haste or the blessing of fervor. Sussex. Uh, it's another five-footer. And now I don't like this big guy. Sure. He, uh, uh, attack from Blessing of Fervor. So four. Is it evil? It is not evil. How rude of it. You deal some damage to it, though. It is hurt. Oh, all of those were eights. Look at that. Damn. Blam, 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 blam. Start taking it apart. 
It's stable. It's D10, so it's not max, but them all being the same is crazy. Well. Yeah, but that's much harder. Oh, hum. That's no fun. Oh, let me mark off some more gold. I think that's the thing to do. This one casts a spell. No, that won't do anything. What's the best thing I can do in this comment? What is the most backbreaking thing we can cast? Hmm. hmm. I've still got pants. You <laughs> still have pants. You don't tempt me, <laughs> you son of a bitch. What are my feet? This feeds? is the combat where Walter took all of our pants. Dude, you will long remember this is the combat where I took your pants. <laughs> Not the pants combat. <laughs> Oh my god, this is how you convince all of us to only ever wear fucking swim trunks. <laughs> <laughs> um, shitty titties. I think... Nothing exciting in here, right? Nah. Do 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 do. I think we just have to go in, penny for a pound. Yup. Fuck it. Comma we ball. Comma we ball. Uh, let me see here. I'm just scrolling up. Don't don't mind me. Don't mind me. Yeah, that's the worst one. Uh, it will cast a spell. It will cast the spell on Buddy. On me? Yeah. Give me a will save. Um, sure, sure, sure. 29. Oh, you, you are probably fine. You're definitely fine. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Comma wee ball. You see a thing that looks somewhat familiar. It looks kind of like your buddy, Tommy, but this one looks more impressive. This looks like a drowning devil. And it like swims forward. Uh and it casts a spell on you. You resist the effects. Your companion identifies it as a feeble mind. Uh oh. Mm. Uh oh, not like this. Oh, that sounds worse for them. Yep. And it swims up to like here. Mm, it'll just stay where it's at, actually. There's this giant meat wall on its way. It's come Ranger 4. Loop, loop. But you're up. Yeah, well, it doesn't change much what I'm doing. I'm going to charge. Sweet. Go ahead and roll percentiles. Right about here. Oh, that's annoying. You seem to have moved out of Garm's aura. 30 foot rain. Yep. As you get to there, oh. your charge ends and you just begin uh, jabbering incoherently. This creature will attack you, though, as you move the last square time, threatens. The last time I had to do a will save for confusion, though, I got like a 19 or something on my roll. Yeah, but you were no, affected I... from the first time. Oh, so they it was just a second. Hat. It was just a second casting. It suppresses. Oh, that one. Yeah, it just casts it a second oh, time on you. Yeah. That's fun. <laughs> Not really. It's fun for me, though. Quick and mind altering CP fun. All righty, then. Yeah, it does way less damage to you than it does to the other guy, though, so you're fine. 29. It bites you. It can't Down seem to grapple 27, you, though. 27, DR2, baby. Uh-uh. This other creature will go, this thing looks fucking horrific, by the way. This creature's three singing heads sway atop a serpentine neck that extends from a bulbous body split by a wide, toothy maw. It has a cacophony going, which uh, I don't think you guys can hear because you're underwater, so I don't quite know how it works. Um...
It's... Well, noise does travel underwater. Yeah. Well, now that Garm can see it in its splendor, he'll have to start making concentration checks to cast spells. Mm -hmm. eh, not like this. Uh, you seem to like touch attacks. It says to you. It squirts forward. It counts squares. 10, 20, 350. Yo, its heads all kind of like Yom and Bob together, and they uh will Godzilla beam laser usage. Crit does not confirm with the natty one. Uh, does a twenty three hit your touch? Uh, yes. And that certainly hits. So it'll hit you a total of three times. As sonic damage blasts into you from its fucking Godzilla mouth. Uh, it has one more quick in confusion, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything because Garb's there, so it won't cast that. <laughs> Tommy, you're up. Uh, I. See, I can make well, it challenging, Garb. I'll delay till Spirit Funnel. I'll delay till Spirit moves. All right, Scum Ranger 3 will go. Five foot step, it will take full attacks on Sezix. You are not a human, correct? Correct. You fucker. Get him. Two hits! It'll take one more, only the. Uh, plus. Uh, yep. So three hits. We got a bite and two tridents. Get him! I'm Get probably him. going down here. Yes! Yes! Another victory for the underdog! Yeah. Trident! Trident! Oh god, are you dead? Yeah. Are you two dead, dude? Bite! Oh wow. It is not stopping, you fucks! I'll get a kill! You breath of life, whatever. Um. <laughs> so it was. The trident. Yeah, so the other attacks will miss because of the order it does its attacks in. Uh, so yeah, it tears into your companion. Do you have, uh, you have uh, gloves of stirring or whatever? The, uh, yeah. the gun will drop from his fingers and float down to the seafloor as his body floats as well. Yeah. Victory, another victory. Shark Companion 3 is going to attack Tommy. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Oh, miss. Sirit. <laughs> oh, I have a second attack. I'm hasted. Yo, yo, yo. Sirit, step step off for a second. I'll, I'll chill, I'll chill, I'll chill. Uh, with 26 All right, All right now, now, you, now you may go. I'll return from chilling. Um, unfortunate thing is I don't think I can get Sezix up because if I do, he just drowns. He has freedom of movement. But spell effects end and he doesn't have water breathing when he gets up. I mean, he holds breath. He doesn't have water breathing now. Well, he doesn't need to breathe now. I mean, you can you can breath life, but you can hold his breath. Fair. I do have rules for pressure damage for being this far down, though, that we avoided. <laughs> because you had freedom of movement. Um, is that how we want to do it? Moving thirty, so you could touch that guy. Are you moving to a square that creature threatens? Thinking about it. Oh, oh, confident, confident. Because I need to get within thirty, so my front line can touch the big guy. You are no longer mind control, buddy. You are free to roam about the cabin. I did it. <laughs> I'm just. <sighs> I also am concerned that if I don't heal Tommy, that he's going to die from those ray attacks because they were doing. Five die six as such attacks. It seems as if this giant non evil creature smited good on Tommy. <laughs> as it has yeah. the fiendish template, but isn't evil. So I kind of <laughs> want to go heal him instead again. Do so you, you, know. you have a channel up? Oh, yeah, I can channel. So I can either channel or I could walk over and just press the heal button on Tommy. Can't you quick just channel press the heal breath of life? On Tommy. No, because I have to move. 
How far away were you? I was here. You can, oh, that's what's great. No, you fire. were one closer. You were within five feet. You can oh, five okay. foot and do it all. That was it? Yeah. Uh, you were five. within five feet, but if you want to just go get Tommy, I'm fine with it. Oh, my concern is if I move five feet, then the circle still ends. What do you mean the because circle I need still to ends? Get... Yeah, because you need to move ten towards it. Yeah. Well, I mean, Buddy would no longer be mind controlled. He'd just have to attack something in the back for right now. But, well, yeah, we, I... We need to get rid of the big thing right now. Yeah, we whoa. need to get back Whoa, 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 we don't need to do any of that. So I think Sezix is unfortunately being a corpse for a bit. Yay! What a raven, a potion, a pair of pants, and a rat. What else can I add to my collection of trophies this session? <laughs> All of that was targeted at the rat, too. Dude, I also, like, uh definitely just blatantly cheated and put all the enemies in the same room it's like two <laughs> two rangers a room i'm like now nah, they're all together there's also only one of these giant squid things i was like i'll just have it be asleep cinematically and you guys just killed it before god goes so i was like there's a second <laughs> one <laughs> there's another yeah, yeah, yeah. one <laughs> it's even I think, bigger I think you guys would like hurt it i think you just instantly kill it <laughs> <laughs> i do the same thing for like all the shadow motherfuckers <laughs> <laughs> you guys obliterated the first I'm like it's just double the next room fuck you guys <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh oh uh huh I have sanctuary I think I'm gonna start eating attacks if you move to that square you'll pro provoke an attack from the giant squid creature mm, I don't wanna do that very good move over there cast and heal yeah and Austin is on a time crunch, so once this combat ends, we'll basically be done. Uh, do you want to heal uh, yourself all the way? I do not have a time crunch sure. anymore today, so we're good. Oh, okay. Uh, you cast heal. Tommy, you were topped off. Tommy, you're up. Uh, okay, I'm gonna move and attack the big fucking thing. It's gonna swing at you if you come in, champ. Uh, I have haste uh, moving in, so... Okay. Or plus, yeah, so plus two daisy. Plus one days. Oh, well, plus a good forever, plus two, then. Whatever. Some of these numbers. Okay. Uh, yeah. He's using blessing of fervor plus two so that he can get the. Does the 34 hit you? Yes. All right. Oh, yeah. Right on the nose. Right on the nose. God damn it. Get a crit. I get a crit. Oh, oh, oh. I get a crit. Dude, I have so many feats that do nothing because you have freedom of movement, which is so dumb because, like, in a high level aquatic combat, everyone's going to have it already. But um, one of my uh, friends, whenever he runs a game, he just bans freedom of movement from the game. It's literally just not in the game because it, it's such a game breaking spell for yeah. so many things. Um, it does ruin the scaling a lot. I mean, yeah, that's why I just have him like trying to dispel it and shit like that. But he, he's only cast level 10, so like it's really hard for him to get there. Uh, anyway, I crit you. I was power attacking from before. That's why I took the penalty to my attacks. I, uh, I'm adding my hit dice to this die roll, and I'm rolling this number upon you, sir. I have hit you for that much damage. Damn. Takes a bite out of crime. As this thing I... just tears into you, as you dive into its maw. Uh, Tommy, you get to take your attack. I'm content with my decision to heal you. Yeah, for sure. This thing is bloodied to hell. It is barely up. Anything else, sir? Uh, no. That's all I could do. Unless I want to bull rush it into these things. But what was your CMB? Uh, sure. I will bull rush it. CMB. It does uh, not move. Good. Okay. <laughs> just fucking with you. <laughs> I, I figured it, it has like a, a sixty. It is a sixty foot long, twenty eight hundred pound prawn. What is it? A fifty two? That's what my <laughs> guess is. No, you're actually you actually probably would have succeeded if it didn't have spells. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, it will go. Some of its wounds close up. Is it as the fast healing? 
food. Would bleeding stop fast healing? Yeah. No, fast healing stops bleeding. Other way around, Buckaroo. Uh, it will kind of narrow its eyes upon you. And it will commit. It will die or you will die, as is the way of all such creatures. The way of the prawn. One gladiator to another, it salutes you. But I have a 34 AC, 34 AC. Come on. Way of the prawn, way of the prawn. Yes! Way of the prawn! It is hasted. Haste fight? It is hasted! 34 oh. AC! It was Cause I, my blessing of fervor. <gasps> you deftly avoid all of these bone-crunching bites. Fuck. Uh, it's the Scum Ranger. Oh, my creature. Well, well, well. Back to my spells. What level am I? Uh, yeah, there's no fucking way. Buddy's coming up, huh? Mm hmm. Maybe. We'll see. Well, might, might, as well cast another, <laughs> might as well cast another feeble mind on you. Go ahead and make a will save. Yup. In for petty, in for pound. Oh, 24? 24, you say. 24 will get there. Uh, again, this thing tries to wrestle your mind from you, but you are not to be cowed. Buddy, how do you respond? That's this guy in the back, by the way, the one that looks like your, your amigo. He's casting that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, five foot step. There's no need for this, buddy. Uh, I wanted to cast a, I wanted to cast Dimension Door, but this thing's far too big for me to take with me. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna put it next to you, Siret, in the back. <laughs> I'm... That's why I came up to hang out with the shark friend. I didn't want to get exploded by something walking in the cave. The twenty nine will hit. Cool. So I got three claw attacks that hit. Yeah. Stuff yeah. Here, so. yeah. Yeah, yeah. As you tear into this thing. Bloop, bloop, bloop. You rip Red. it apart. It is dead. How uh, how do you kill this poor sea monster? You know, probably one of a kind. Probably the only one in this cave that was supposed to be here, at least. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely gonna, like, take one of its claws and, like, rip it off and then use it to, like, smash it into its, uh, uh, mouth. Very good. Very good. I'm gonna use a claw attack, but it's not necessarily my claw. Oh, nice. The Seaweed Siren will go, well, the, the tide of combat seems to have turned. Um, indeed. I think we're gonna just shoot sonic beams at this fucking Tommy guy. <laughs> <laughs> These will be against your touch AC, and it will get Uno more. 21 to touch? Uh, 20 to touch? I have a 14 touch AC. Okay. It will do... 1... Yeah. 2... 3... <gasps> we live? 4... Hits. Oh. You're still oh, alive! Scum oh, Ranger 3... Oh. will come in... <laughs> It will attack you. <laughs> the Scum Ranger. <laughs> the Scum Ranger. He's gotta get a 34 to get me. A 34 oh! on the first attack! Let's fucking go into human two more damage! Oh! Ta -da! 21? You still I'm up? Still you oh my god. Fuck soccer! <laughs> I feel so good about my decision to go. The shark. shark. Please don't die to the shark. The fucking shark. I can't deal with shark. the stress if you die to the shark. It has to get a net 20. 400. It has, it has haste. It has haste. It has haste. Son of a bitch. See you. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> Sadly, right here, the audio cut out during our session for about 10 minutes. What you don't hear is the battle ending, the siren being defeated, and the drowning devil, Slugaroth, teleporting away to safety. The shark didn't do anything important. They looted the caves, and here's what happened next. 
Well, what would you guys like to do next? Mm. Get up topside, uh, get on the deck, and uh, give this guy a little slappy to the chest. Sure. Yeah, you guys can leave. You can, you know, revive your companion, do all those sort of basic things that, uh, you know, are far below the current level of, uh, of, Fantastic. you know, adventuring prowess that you're at now. So, yeah, you get them all patched up. Uh, when you return to the aquatic elves, they're very keen to learn of your latest battle and how it turned out. Well, you see, we uh, went down in the water, and we got all of our uh, spells prepared and all that kind of stuff, and uh, there's a giant shrimp, and we shot it a couple times, and then uh, remember uh, last time there were all those uh, scum guys? Yeah. Yeah, there were more of those. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, that wasn't great. Then Sezix got shot by some siren with a bunch of sound attacks, and that oh wasn't gosh. great. Yeah. It was also but, the siren that destroyed his pants, for what it's worth. Yeah, the siren destroyed his <laughs> pants many times. That's kind of been the fault of Sezix, the siren. Whether it was uh, the lady with the one eye, the lady in fire, or down here. Yeah. Sezix and the siren in his pants. Now, if you want to um, kind of follow up, as it were... With the scouts? Or the Aska... Whatever. I, uh, I mean, they're certainly willing to sign their name saying they support you and all that sort of stuff. So no problems there. Um, I presume you'll return to Kentargo after perhaps like a celebration type thing, resting up, all that sort of jazz. Oh yeah, we just wanted to recall. Yeah, or of course. Step through the gates, whatever. Um, once you head back, I imagine Buddy may have some questions for old Shershagat. Yeah, yeah. That was a little... uh perturbed yes of course uh in the morning uh you'll feel a pressure in your mind again asking uh for your attendance if possible are you free today yeah we got some we got we gotta talk sure she got uh very good then uh you feel again that tugging you could either agree with it and uh, be teleported away somewhere or you could disagree with it and there may be some oh. penalties I'll agree with it this time. Very good. Buddy disappears in a plume of hellfire. <laughs> what do the three of you want to do? Uh, it's like morning. You just like started gearing up, maybe. I have to recraft all my bullets. So I'll be doing. Do I know this is hellfire? Like I can't make. I had that. Uh, D. Buddy, did you mention to us that uh, Shershkat had talked to you while we were down there? I didn't hear it. <laughs> I didn't hear it. Kind of felt like uh, that I just keep, happened. I keep my friend circles separate. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Like I don't. I don't talk about like the old ladies that I play. Uh, <laughs> with, you know? That's fair. <laughs> Different area codes. Yeah. 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 Well, it sounds like he's on his own. <laughs> Do I still have the the negatives from yesterday? They go away as you agree to oh, fulfill good. your contract. We'll talk about that at the end. Uh, what are the rest of you doing, though? Your companion's Crafting gone. bullets. Sure, you guys are still in the Elvish village. Are you going to teleport back to town? That's the plan. Yeah, you, you go grab your Rexus, you guys head back to town. Uh, we'll just have, like, a couple of a couple of things happen, and then, and then we'll be done for the day. Um, you guys are precipitously close leveling up <laughs> like one more mission away <laughs> like, like perhaps one more mission away <laughs> i mean not like you really need the level as you can tell <laughs> um yeah so buddy you find yourself in a very warm place um you're in like a lavishly appointed uh almost like a like a villa, like a meeting room. You can see out through all these windows into some sort of hellscape. There's plumes of fire and ash in the distance. Um, there is uh, a gathering of all sorts of exotic devils. They're all hanging around. There seems to be one that's like kind of a smaller drowning devil that's like up on a throne. 
and uh, you see it is decorated with all sorts of macabre things. It has like uh, maybe there's like a, a pair of severed angel wings that it's got like it's wearing them on its back. Uh, it's got like the head of a unicorn that's been like preserved or whatever on its head. Uh, and it's there talking to Shershagat, who's a little bit bigger and standing next to it. Uh, and you, like, arrive in this plume of hellfire. Uh, some of the devils look at you and, like, you know, are just speaking in languages and voices and, and like, undulations that uh, sound like noise, but you're like, yeah, you don't really understand. And Shershagat will slither over to you. And he'll be like, oh, buddy, my friend, welcome, welcome. Hello, Shershiga. I made it. Yes, you did. Did that you bring quick. a present? Um, I mean, Buddy's got all sorts of stuff. Like, um, I'll put out like a little wooden carving that I've probably been working on for a while now. Ah, uh, oh, wait, please, right this way. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mancovia, this is Buddy. From the mortal plane, I give you my gift for the evening. And she'll be like, oh, father, he is so exquisite. Now we have to return him in one piece, but you have him for 24 hours. And he'll conjure like a uh, uh, an hourglass out of thin air. And you see the kernels have like started moving and he'll set it like on the throne next to her. And she'll be like, oh, for my 15,000th birthday, it's all I've wanted. Come, come here, stranger. Tell me of your world. Uh, it's, it's nice. It's yeah. a little colder there than it is here. Oh, yes. Well, we can make you more comfortable. Her, like, tentacles will begin, like, removing articles of clothing from you. Oh, boy. Yeah, this seems to be like a, a devil quinceanera. Uh, it's kind of got that vibe going on. There'll be like some music played by like slaves that are being whipped. It's really just like the groaning and moaning of like their bones being broken in certain timings and successions to like come up with some sort of like horrific melody. Uh, there, of course, is like the cutting of the cake where they bring out like three virginal unicorns and they like rip their wishbones apart as they're alive to like count the organs and like figure out if it's going to be a fortuitous century or not um it's all pretty fucked up um yeah is there anything in particular you want to do while you're here or are you just along for the ride um i think i'm just along for the ride <laughs> yeah you know, as as the evening goes on, do you want to partake in any of the libations? Uh, there's all sorts of drink and food, things you've never tasted before and probably won't have the opportunity to taste again. You know, I, I've always, you, you know, you know, have you, you had you gotta Azimar, try, you gotta everything once? Have you had Azamar before? to like cut you off the flank of like a beautiful golden human leg, human looking leg oh. that's there, like roasting on a spit. I won't eat humans, but I'll eat everything else. <laughs> but of course, uh, yeah, you eat all sorts of, like, good-aligned outsider meat. Uh, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. You have a good time. Uh, as the evening goes on, Shershagat will be like, uh, I do thank you for coming. Um, the party began yesterday. Uh, I was going to have it start next week, but as a favor to another drowning devil, he insisted I start it early. I didn't quite fathom why. Uh, did did he give you any problems? Is that drowning devil here? Uh, yeah, certainly. Oh, yeah, I would talk to that. You'll see, devil. like, an impressive-looking drowning devil over there, and he's, like, talking about his latest folly on the material plane, where he, like, mind-controlled a bunch of scum to, like, conjure up a mythological creature to, like, uh, you know, cause havoc on the coastline as part of his contract with Chelyax. And he's gonna be like, ah, oh, here's one of the interlopers now! Yeah. Yes. I'll grab him by the scruff of whatever clothing he had. Or has uh, he on. Does, has no clothing on. Maybe okay. like a little, uh, they all have like a little party hat. They all have like a little party hat with like one of the little elastic strings. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> like, that was very mean of you. 
Ah, you can't blame a devil for trying. It's in my nature. Besides, with how highly Shershagoth spoke of you, I knew that it would be but a trifle for you to resist his contract. But you see, that's because he's a, a much weaker drowning devil than me. He'll put an arm around you. There's all sorts of things a more powerful entity like me could provide. I could fulfill your heart's desire. Tell me, buddy, no. what is it that you wish for? No, thank you. Yeah, he'll spend the evening trying to, like, convince you to sign another contract. And you're like, nope, buddy's done. <laughs> no. you, you helped to kill our rat friend, and that was not nice. So... Oh, please. But I didn't see him pass through Phrasma's realm. Surely he's been reinvigorated by one of your companions. Yeah. That's I recommend magic you can't don't... solve. I recommend you don't go back to the material plane for a while. You know what I mean. I am an employee just like you. I go where I am tasked. Pass through and pays the bills as it is. Souls don't come cheap nowadays. It's not like the good old days when people would make deals with devils all the time. No, now everyone's read some fable or story about how we'll betray you. Of course, all nonsense, really. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. So while Buddy is having a grand old time, you guys arrive back in Kintargo. You head back to your kind of your 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 life that you were doing before, waiting for your companion maybe to reappear. You're gonna like research what happened to him and shit like that. Oh uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll make a knowledge religion test, I guess. Sure. No religion involved here, though. Be a planes. Oh, be planes, sure. Mm. He gone. He's it definitely gone. was some sort of plane shift spell. I mean, well, buddy, buddy's a big boy. I mean, he can handle himself. It's not the first time he's wandered <laughs> off. Remember with the hags, he wandered off. That he was fine. I mean, yeah. I guess if he's not back in the morning, I'll you know prepare a plane shift spell for us. But yeah. uh. You I mean, I, maybe we should just, we've had a hard adventuring day, you know, like, let's get the water out of our boots and kick up and relax for a day. I mean, yeah. I think we've earned it. Yeah, is there like a, is there like any NPC you like, uh, you like haven't seen in a while? Or like, you know, like an old shop or an old haunt you go chill at, you know, just kind of get back to your roots. Remember why you're, what you're fighting for, as it were. Back to the devil's threads. Back to the devil's <laughs> threads. How you doing, Hemi? Yeah, old uh, Hamilton Hayes. Uh, you guys uh, hang out with Hamilton, uh, probably like all night till he has to close shop. Um, you guys like have some drinks. You catch up on old times. He fixes your clothes. He gets you a new pair of pants. Sage, of course, you came here. It all comes together. A beautiful tapestry <laughs> is being woven by my incredible game mastering. Um, <laughs> the rat's been pantless this entire time. I'm gonna give him 61 gold, the cost of an adamantine bullet, uh, to make me some fantastic pants. They are fantastic. They are beautiful. Um, he's like an older tiefling. As the evening wears on, he'll be like, "Ugh, I, I just, I must, I must go to bed." Thank you, though. It's been so lovely catching up. I'll come visit you, uh, in your hideout. You know, in the next couple of days or whatever. Um, My pleasure. So you know, expect me. Uh. Uh, it's really, it's just been great catching up. Um, he'll, like, impart some some words of wisdom to you as you continue to grow and mature his adventures. He remembers when he was level 5 and, like, you were all level 3 coming to him for advice, so. Was you know, <laughs> it's a good time. Yeah. Um, so you both have, uh, everyone has, like, a pretty interesting evening. Um, you guys head back to the, uh, to the hideout to spend the night. Buddy, your passage of time is very eh difficult to uh comprehend uh go ahead and just give me like one will save to uh represent how how much of your goodness you hold on to in this evening and and you seem to want to be good so i'll give you a plus five on it is okay. you uh you've resisted their wiles before 31. you know yeah no matter kind of what is presented to you be it like pleasures of the flesh or wealth or personal gain or power or anything like that you you turn them all aside 
and you uh, you do a very good job nice. of like resisting them in their effects. Um, we'll end with uh, you know from Hamilton's perspective, waving goodbye to you through the window. You know he. Swear to God, if you murder Hamilton Hayes, I will pay ten grand to get it back. He locks the door. Uh, <laughs> changes the sign to closed. Um, sits down, takes off his shoes, massages his bunions. The whistle from the stove goes off. His tea's done. He slips into his slippers and walks over to there. He uh, goes to grab his tea, and he turns around, and his eyes go wide, and then the screen will go dark. You'd step 37 times in the trust. We'll just go ahead and end there for the day. Thank you. <laughs> It suggests I, it suggests I make the next fist of victim someone you know, but someone you haven't seen in a while. So thanks for for telling me That's who you'd like to up. see, Garm. You killed him. I didn't. No. <laughs> I will be burning twenty five grand on a tree resurrection <laughs> upon reaching level eighteen. We <laughs> will not go down like that. Whoa, whoa, we're not keeping it down that long. We're just gonna buy a true resurrection from another cleric. <laughs> well, another good <laughs> session. A good I session as always, guys. He just made so expense. <laughs> He's such a nice guy. What kind of monster would lead a monster to his house? Why did you go there, Garm? You could have gone anywhere. You chose this. You did this. You did this. I think I can cast Commune, and because he's a follower of my deity, I can talk to him, though. <laughs> this is how we'll get to the bottom of it. This is how we find the serial killer. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, Milani's blessing. I thought it's we took care of the serial killer last time we played. The there the slaver was picking stuff up and not same period. No, that was a slaver. They were just like grabbing the tieflings off the street. There's someone that's just wandering around stabbing people in the town. Okay. I I, know, I know nothing about this. I have nothing to do with any of this, guys. I just I'm reading the words on the page. You're just a humble bystander. I'm just a humble bystander. I'm. I don't yeah. know what else to say. You did no damage to me, so you asked me which character do you want to die. <laughs> so do some emotional damage. Didn't do any damage to <laughs> me. Emotional to damage. Do the most to me. It's fucked up. I feel like this session, everyone got to participate in something. There, <laughs> I just wanted you to feel like you, you know, you contributed violently to something. Yeah, <laughs> I was responsible for a death. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! Yeah. All right, well, good. I'm glad that you got. I've got my hooks in you. I got you engaged. That's the the goal there. So, all right. Until next time, everyone. It's been until real. Until next time, yeah. Glad y'all had fun. Bye bye. Bye. bye.